Uh, let's start with those German trade numbers. Sure. Um, 15.7 billion is the headline That's surplus. Right. Exports off 1.3 percent. Imports are up. What do you make of these? Okay, basically, uh, the outcome was weaker than both we and the uh, market consensus expected. Because exports fell, I think it's a reflection of the strong euro. You've got a euro that's at about a three-year high against the dollar at the moment. So that's making uh, German exports less competitive to uh, to um, people outside the eurozone. You've also uh, got the situation too, where uh, German uh, businesses and consumers might be becoming a bit more confident about the uh, sustainability of the German recovery itself. So they're actually starting to import more from uh, from other countries too so really that's working against the okay the um, you, you mentioned um, uh, the euro let's talk about the ECB of course we had the IMF yesterday saying right. activity should pick up but there's they say 20% chance of deflation right um, our Reuters poll says there's a now a one in three chance the ECB is going to start buying bonds outright. What do what, you make of that? Okay, our, our view is basically uh, the ECB will um, resort to finishing all their conventional policy measures. In June, they're probably going to cut to about 0.1 percent, and so, okay. so they can't take interest rates any lower. The next step then will be to do quantitative easing. So that, that's really the way they're going to play it. That's going to come, is it, QE? It's going to it's going to come from uh, the ECB. Well, it, it, it's it's can. I, I think they won't go to QE before the, before they cut. So I think they're, they're playing a long game. But um, the first step will be cutting cutting rates in um, in June, and that's because they get the updated ECB staff forecast them. So it gives them excuse. Uh, if inflation is still very low and they still feel uncomfortable, then the next step is QE. All right. Um, other bits and pieces, and I'd like to to, to hear what you think, what it kind of impact this is going to have on the eurozone economies. Let's start with Italy. Declaration of rigor yesterday, but right. there seems to be some fiscal slippage involved here. How much of a concern is that when you look at Italy's rating? Well, I, I think basically um, in terms of Italy, uh, they do have the highest uh, gov government debt as a percentage of GDP in the Eurozone, so everyone is very concerned about them. Um, e everyone wants them to get their fiscal house in order. So it's important that the new government under Prime Minister Renzi uh, is, is serious. The problem is he doesn't really have a track record in government, so I think there's concerns there. Uh, the 10-year yield is relatively low at the moment, but mm. that's prim primarily because there's increased speculation that the ECB is going to start QE, exactly. Exactly. so it's not really domestically Italian domestically driven so if the ECB disappoints Italy's going to have a problem. Are you worried about Italy? I, I think uh, ge generally um, I, I would say all economists do have concerns about Italy's high government debt. It's verging on as unsustainable.